please Yahweh. You gotta go through Yahweh shot. So really, you walking after the flesh when you say, keep the law, keep the law, but don't believe in Yahweh shot. You after the flesh, man. You can't please, they, you can't please Yahweh shot. It's over with. Go ahead. All right. All right. It's, uh, Yahweh shot. Yahweh shot. Romans 8, 1. Says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the Mashiach, our shot, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Verse 2 For the law of the spirit of life in the Mashiach, our shot, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Up! Uh, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Why? Because the thing about it is that law could not take away sin. Only, only Yahweh Shah could. Only who the world in the called Jesus could. Okay? It could not take away sin in this flesh, man. That's why we couldn't keep it, man. Kept going off, man. Because of this sinful body, man. The law is spiritual. Go ahead. Alright. Says. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak in the flesh, the power sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness of sinful flesh. Go ahead. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Bingo. There you go, right there. As I was speaking about earlier, they were sent in this flesh to condemn and to do what we couldn't do in this flesh. He was born of a young woman, and he was <laughs> born of a woman that didn't have sex until she met Joseph. Come on. So Joseph had a virgin, and he popped her, and she was no longer a virgin. Yes. When she produced who the, the word in the of Jesus. Right? Does so that say that? Uh, yeah. That, that ain't right. Man. Yeah, that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. But you don't understand the scriptures and you ain't deep at all. You ain't deep at all. You don't understand the scriptures. Okay? Because okay. <laughs> you know I tell you what, Matthew's the first chapter, so, I tell you about who the world in the recall Jesus lineage. God. So what is he doing with a lineage? Angels don't have sex. Okay? Matter of fact, give me that. Matthew 22 and 18. Okay, Angels don't have sex. They're not giving it to marriage. Angel. Yeah. It's 22. 20, 20, 25. It's in that area. I'm close to it. I ain't directly on it, but it's close to it. But I was just saying, it's like really just hard here. Right? Uh, but really, thirty. Yeah, it's really thirty. It's really, uh, it's really twenty nine. Started twenty nine. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Matthew twenty two and twenty nine. Right. Uh, Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, right. nor the power of Yahweh. Right. Verse thirty. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of of Yahweh in heaven. So. Marriage, when you look in the Bible, it deals with sex. So the angels don't have sex. So that's the key right there. That's a cold cut. So how did Gabriel have sex with Mary? <laughs> you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an oxymoron. <laughs> and the, and the Yahweh Shah said, you error not knowing the scriptures. Right. Okay? And then he said he was the son of David. If you were the son of David, he was the son of David, that means he had to have a lineage. Okay? And he tell you in, in uh, Revelation 22nd chapter that he was son of David himself. Okay? And when you read Matthew the first chapter, that's the lineage of David uh, through Solomon, through Solomon, right? On down. But when you read uh Luke, the first chapter. Third. Now nah, Luke, third chapter. That's uh, Mary's father on Nathan's side. Okay? Because King David had two sons. I mean, well, he had more than two sons, but... Uh, uh, he had 
that. I can't remember all their names. I can't remember their names, but I remember uh, Solomon and uh, Nate. Solomon, Nathan, Absalom. Yeah, Absalom. Uh, yeah. Head so, of head of something like that. Head of I can't remember all the. Hey, forgive me for that. But uh, but the point is, is when you read Luke the third chapter, that's dealing with the lineage of David from Nathan from Nathan's side. And when you read Matthew the first chapter, that's dealing with uh, King David's son Solomon from his side from his lineage. Back again, incarnation meaning in the flesh. So your spirit is put back in the flesh. All right, okay. Uh, so when he came on the scene, when he came on the scene, he was uh, brought forth. No, when he, who, who the world in the record Jesus? When he came on the scene, he was brought forth just as you see today by men and women, by men and women having sex. God, uh, uh, that's the way he was brought forth in the flesh. we we'll go back to Romans. Romans chapter 8 uh, verse 4 that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. So if you walk after the flesh, right, that means that you can't please the most high and you're just trying to keep the law. Keep the law. But you got to walk after the spirit. You got to have faith in who the world in the of Jesus and keep the law. And the law was only given to the nation of Israel. You can't be no spiritual Israelite. It's over for that. Yeah. You can't be no spiritual Israelite. Okay? You either Israelite by, by birth and lineage, and that's the way it is. And you gotta come uh, from your father's side, not your mother's side. All she do is carry the seed. That's it. A man have sex with her, he put his seed in her, and and yeah, yeah. Jake, what happened? <laughs> he ain't have a bean mug on and had scratches on the back of his dick. Fight last night. Yeah, he will. He yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, the way it is. He, 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 yeah, yeah. He, he, he was with the, he was with the, the black man was with the, with the white lady. Right. Well, well, Jake, we'll say the biblical name. Jake was with an Edomite and he was happy. Black man with a white girl and he was happy. He wasn't with the nigga woman because he wasn't fighting all night. See, nigga woman, you got to be at war all night. You have scratches on your neck, scratches on your back. Probably just got out of jail because she didn't call the police on you. Put put a put a uh, put a uh, put a uh, hold on hold on put a put a uh, uh, put an orange in the sock and hit herself on the arm and said you did it. Told the police, see look, I'm bruised. He got me, and you in jail. And she out driving your brand new car with no tags on it, running all the gas out of it. Okay, but you just got out of jail today. You trying to you trying to make up with it by bringing it downtown, but we see the war wounds on the back of your neck, <laughs> scratching and stuff. But this, this Jake, he walked by, he ain't had nothing. He was happy, he was grinning. You see, like he ain't had no stress in his life. <laughs> Dealing with the black woman, he'd be all stressed out. Okay, but go ahead. It says Romans chapter eight, verse five. For they that are after the flesh. Do mind the things of the flesh. They that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. So in other words, you can't please the most high. Okay? That's basically what they're saying. You can't please the most high. The only way you can please the most high is through faith. Okay? Matter of fact, give me that. Hebrews 11 and uh, 6. All right. Uh, this Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to, to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That diligently seek him. Right? So I go back to Romans. Romans 85. For they that are after the flesh 
do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, things of the spirit. Yeah, they understand how to please the Most High. So you gotta believe on His Son, right? You gotta believe on Him, believe on His Son, and keep them laws the best of your ability, knowing that the laws is not gonna save you. So if you, so if you push. The Heavenly Father, Son aside and say, keep the law, keep the law, keep the law, you're going to be destroyed because you can't keep it because you're full of sin. Uh, okay? Go ahead. It says, verse 6, what's carnally minded is death. Uh, carnally minded is death, man. So read that on down, start from the top, that's what it's talking about. Okay? For you to be like that and not pleasing the Most High and believing on His Son is death to you, man. Uh, so go back to John, third chapter, unless you have something loaded. Yeah, let me uh, read David's David son. Okay, the water for that. Okay. Come. This is 2 Samuel 5 and 13, David's family. And David took them more concubines and wives out of Jerusalem. Wait, David had concubines. Uh, so, so David had his wives and he had bad witches. Okay? No, there is a concubine. Some, some, if you, just say for instance, back see in the ancient world, see in the ancient world, if you got your, if you got your old lady pregnant, right? If you got her pregnant, you couldn't, you couldn't sleep with her like that. Once you get her pregnant, she would have to go through that process of uh, having that baby, then she had to go to a purification. So you need a concubine, you, you know, whenever you want to pop some, you pop the concubines. Okay, but they don't have the same privileges as your wife. They concubine, they bad with you. So you just pop them. You know what I'm saying? But that's in the ancient world. And that's coming back. That's coming back when we get in the kingdom. If you have more than one woman in these times, and she don't have no man, but she only dealing with you, you have more than one woman, or you have concubine, they'll probably put your ass in jail for that shit. But you ain't you helpful. Okay? You'll be in jail, man. That's polygamy. Yeah, yeah. You'll be in. You'll probably be in jail for that, man. You gotta hide it. You see? You somebody call the police on you, man. Okay? You living like that? Got more than one woman. Got more than one woman. And uh, have a concubine. They'll call the police on because they'll frown on you, man. They'll say that's not the way of God. That's not a the godly man. But you don't understand the scriptures. You don't understand the counsel of the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? Because in this society, they uphold uh, sodomites, okay? All, a, a lot of these men that's walking around here are sodomites and pedophiles, okay? They gonna make that legal. They already got sodomites, homo, hom homosexuals legal, and giving them rights, they gonna make pedophiles Pedophilia, legal next, next, and bestiality. You see, that's what they into in this society. Uh, but you having more than one woman having concubines in this society, you wrong. You are you cheat. You cheating on your wife. What type of madness is that? Go ahead, read it. You see, David's family, and David took him more concubines and wives out of Jerusalem after he had come to Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to David. And these be the names of those. Be the name of those in Jerusalem. Shema. That's so called. That's a so-called Jew over there. That looks like a so-called Jew over there. That's right. And Nathan. That's a gutter rat right there. And Solomon. He's not a real Jew. The real Jews are the African American in this country. God. He's a gutter rat. Go ahead. And the name. And these are be the names of those that born unto him in Jerusalem. Sham, Shamua, Shamua, and Shabab, and Nathan and Solomon, I, I hard, also Elishua, and Nepeg, and Japhia, and Ish, uh, Elish, Elishma, and Elada, Ephelaet. Plus he had Absalom also, and he had a couple of daughters. So these are the ones born in Jerusalem. So all together he had like at least ten kids. Dude. Yeah, I knew he had more than I knew he had more than Nathan yeah. and Solomon. They didn't even name Absalom and them daughters he had because they would say these are the ones 
but he had in Jerusalem with the concubine. Yeah. So you remember he had one with uh, uh what was that uh was that Uriah? Yeah, Uriah's wife. Yeah, Solomon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't say Absalom, but Absalom was his son. Also. Then what, 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 uh, what's the brother that he put to death when, when he killed Job? You know, when he took, took hold of the corners of the altar? I can't think of his name. He, he asked, uh, he asked, uh, he asked Solomon, mama. He asked Bathsheba to, to, to ask him to, uh, for Solomon to give him some slave girl. Hmm. I, can't I can't remember. I can't remember. He said, he found one to act. No, he asked Solomon. Oh. He asked, uh, he asked Solomon's mama to ask Solomon for some slave girl that Solomon had. Okay, I'm on, I'm on. Go ahead, go ahead. What would you hear? You'll find it. Uh, All right, go back to John. John, the third chapter. That's what we did. So we start going into that, dealing with that name and being condemned. That's why we start going to the other scriptures. It jumped to dealing with the law. That's why we start doing that. Third chapter. Yeah, because we really, because we left from there, John the third chapter, and we really react, and we start building up on it from there. But going back to uh, about whosoever don't believe, that's, I think that's 16. Yeah, we had made 18. <clears throat> okay, all right. All right, this is John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Mm -hmm. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Right. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son of the power. All right. So right here, going back over, if we read from the top, we jumped around. But who the word, even recall Jesus, he was talking to, uh, he was talking to Nicodemus. God. And Nicodemus God. was an Israelite. And who the world in the called Jesus, he was the Israelite. There wasn't no other nation around. And he was telling, look, I was sent to be a savior for Israel. And that's what he was discussing with Nicodemus. Okay? And he was telling Nicodemus, you gotta believe on me. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation. That light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Yeah. Now light is coming to the world. Who is the light? Who the world in the record Jesus? Uh, darkness. Uh, darkness is them not understanding the, the mysteries and the oracles of the heavenly Father and His Son. So by them not understanding the, the, the mysteries and the oracles of the heavenly Father and His Son, the scriptures, uh, they in darkness. But understanding the oracles and the, and the prophecies, the heavenly Father and His Son, you in the light. Because who the world in the regard to is the light. Okay. Right. Matter of fact, look up that word, look up that word uh dark. that is obscurity literally or fig figuratively metaphorically it says an ignorance respecting divine things of human duties and accompanying ungodliness and immor immortality together with the consequent misery in hell go ahead read it again from um strong shadiness that is obscurity darkness blue letter darkness oh dark night of darkened eyesight or blindness, metaphorically, of ignorance respecting divine things and human duties, yeah. and accompanying the ungodliness of immortality together with the consequent misery in hell. Yeah. Hell is a condition laid out on the earth, right? So what it is, is you don't understand the oracles of the Most High. Oracles going to a different topic, divine, divine wording of the Heavenly Father. You don't have that influence on you to understand the, 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 the oracle, the different topic when it comes to the Bible. So you just in darkness. Okay? That was just talking about. Uh, what we John. John. St. John 3 and 
2019. And this is the condemnation. The light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Their deeds were evil. So, them not believing on who the word in the called Jesus, right? Which his name is Yahweh Shai. Their deeds were evil, but they didn't believe. They didn't believe. And he and he was and he was telling Nicodemus this, and they and they and he was telling them, and they were discussing about him being a savior for Israel. He was telling them that. And the ones that don't believe on him, right, their deeds are evil. That's why they don't believe on him. It's set up like that. They are the world. They ain't gonna believe the spiritual aspect of why he came and what his purpose was. Okay? Go ahead. For everyone that doeth evil hated the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deed should be reproved. Lest his deed be, be reproved. Or they'll, they'll get corrected on what they were doing wrong and how they were acting towards the Mosai. And that's what our people don't like. They don't like correction. They hate correction. So how would you get correction? While the Lord's not here, you would have to go into the scripture, right? And search out the scripture. You have to have a teacher. So if the teacher's telling you, look, you're going off on this, you're going off on this, and we speak, we come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah, Jake gonna buck up because they don't like it. They don't like, they don't like being corrected. They don't like being in water. They like being rebellious. See there? Twice. Two of them come by happy, man. Right? happy man. No, they not here in the school. No, that's another. Oh, man. They happy, man. Right? Hey. They happy. They was old, you know, Mike, too. They saw the young girl. Yeah. She old. Nah, I saw that. Y'all saw it. You have to go. Hey, man, you see the evidence, man. Yeah, you see the evidence, man. Yeah, he finna right? go lay up. Man. Like I tell you, man, dealing with the black woman, man, it, it's, a, it's a war it's a war zone, man. You have to sleep with one eye open, man. You know, you have to sleep with one eye open. And if you ain't got no kids by her, she already thinking in her mind, I'm finna put him on child support. I wish I had a child by her. <laughs> you know, that's the way she thinking, man. You going up in the raw, you going up in the raw, you better believe the whole time you going in the raw, she said, I'm finna have this baby. The whole time. And if you leave, I'm finna put him on child support. I'm finna take everything. That's the way they